Parts of the Northeast are cleaning up this morning after strong storms and even a rare tornado. The twister touched down in central Delaware on Thursday, injuring two people. Another possible tornado hit near Albany, New York. Those storms caused heavy damage and some flooding, and that was only part of the trouble along the East Coast. This line of storms knocked down trees in Richmond, Virginia. Heavy rain flooded part of Interstate 95 in eastern Pennsylvania. Traffic came to a stop because of a hailstorm. A hail knocked out a skylight at a mall. One airliner flew through the storm and landed in Philadelphia with a cracked windshield. Meteorologist Megan Glaris of CBS station WBBM says the storm threat will continue this weekend. Good morning to you. In the Northeast, the severe threat is diminishing now, but it's not over entirely all across the United States. Unfortunately, there is still a risk of severe weather across the Carolinas and also New Mexico and Texas, where large hail and damaging winds are the main threats today. But in the Carolinas, there is a slight chance of a few isolated tornadoes. And in the West, the drought rages on. Now 28% of the lower 48 under severe to exceptional drought, 100% of the state of California, and 56% of the Lone Star State. Now, as we roll into Memorial Day, it looks like there could be some stormy to severe weather from Texas all the way up into the northern plains. Warm conditions in the east. It'll be beautiful in Florida and hot in the southwest. All right. Thank you, Megan.